Hello YouTube and LEGO fans and welcome to my latest LEGO Star Wars Winter 2014 wave of sets. So this is the Republic AV7 Anti-Vehicle Cannon set 75045. This is for ages 8 to 14. And the piece count I'm actually not 100% certain of. Okay guys, so just to explain that, here in the UK we don't have piece count on the box. Um, over in the States you do, or you certainly used to. Um, it be interesting to see whether these latest wave of uh, LEGO Star Wars sets um, have the piece count on it for you guys. So I normally head over to the LEGO website and it normally says on there um, with regards to the piece count. But I'm just going to bring this in and show you. But for some reason there is no piece count um, but there normally is so anyway here's the box um, it comes with obviously the uh, AV anti-vehicle cannon um, we have two uh, clone trooper minifigures um, Plo Kloon or Plo Koon rather um, and also a droidica so the rear of the box looks like that um, and again, as always, some of the functions. Um, this one does come with, which it should say there, yeah, the new spring. This focuses in. Spring loaded shooter. So, okay, quick look at the instructions front, rear, set from the 2014 winter wave, some information. Uh, inventory piece count over the two pages and we have a total page build of 71 pages um, however the page build would much be uh, sorry would be much more than that because all the way up to page ooh, where do we finish page 28 is times two so you build all the way up to page 28 and then go back and build another one um, yeah, anyway guys, that's just a bit of extra information for you, so that's the instructions and the box. Okay guys, so there we go, there's the first look at the Republic AV-7 anti-vehicle cannon, and obviously the minifigures and the droidica, so let's take a look at those minifigures. Okay guys, so first up we have this droidica, I'm just going to give you a quick 360. The front, a bit closer up. Okay, standard droidica, nothing too special. So that is our droidica. Okay, so next up we have our new variant of Plo Koon. So let's take a look at him. Okay, you can see there, no printing to the legs. We have this front torso printing. Trying to pick this up on the camera because obviously he has this dark brown body. Round to the rear again. There is some torso print into the rear. See the different coloured arms from the main torso. He has this blue lightsaber. And then obviously we can see that Plo Koon face and all that detailing. Okay, so that's our first minifigure, Plo Koon. Okay, so next up we have two Wolf Pack Clone Troopers. So let's take a look at one of those. Starting from the legs, we can see that print in there to the legs. Into the front torso printing. Round to the rear, and again, rear torso print in there. Comes with a blaster. And there we can see that print into the helmet there to represent the wolf pack. Okay. A bit closer there. Remove the helmet. And he comes with our standard clone face, single sided. 
like I said guys there are two of these and they are identical okay so let's take a closer look at the AV7 anti-vehicle cannon itself so first off let's give this a 360 okay let's start off with our 360 then we're going a bit closer to look at some of the more detailing and some of the features on the set Okay, there we go. You can see the side, the rear end. You can see there where our clone trooper is going to sit up in the seat there, and we will show that in a short while. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Okay, so the first feature I want to show you with you is the main turret here can be raised and lowered, and how we do that is I'll just spin this round. Like so, hopefully you can see, I zoom this in. This piece here is a Technic pin, and so what they do there, and there is a number of cog pieces in there, we spin that, and you can see certainly the rear, if I zoom that out now, as I'm doing that. There we go, so there, now you can see as I'm turning that, that raising and lowering you can put it right down like that so it's pointing down towards the floor okay next thing I will show you is the actual legs that this is on um, they can move all the way around if you wanted to so it was like that you could literally go all the way back around like that that's obviously the main firing position like so um, these are adjustable as well at the end so these pieces can also go up. So again, they can be fully flat like that. I'll show you the main purposes for that in a minute. The actual feet piece here. Again, if we zoom in. So these are on, these can spin. They're just on a Technic pin, which allows it to do that. Okay, so obviously the AV7 is in its firing position there, so this does, again, moving these legs in, we can put it into the transportation position, so move those round like that, put these flat. Like so, um, and now it can be obviously transported a road or driven around like that. Again zoom that out and again if I just show you the underside of this there are which we can see there in the center two wheels there and there and that's obviously what is allowing us to obviously roll this around on this flat surface. So again yeah pretty cool. Okay, so just some of the detailing, obviously up here, we go to the rear of the cannon, we have this hose detailing which goes from one side and around to the other. Um, while we're in that position there is our control panel, that is a printed piece there, there's no stickers on this set at all, but that is the only printed piece. There is obviously our seat for our um, Wolfback clone trooper so let's get one of those and put them in the seat now okay so there we can now see with the clone obviously in that seat ready to control and ultimately fire the AV7 okay so let's just follow that detailing along there um, next feature to share with you up at the top here this is a flick fire missile so that does come out, I'm just going to push that so you can see, there we go, standard flick fire missile, again that just slots back in to position there, um, and what we also have, which we can see down here on this section are two spare flick fire missiles, so these just can come out, push out like so, 
and then we have our two spare flick fire missiles. Okay, and I think the final thing this comes with, which I shared with you at the beginning of this video, is the spring loaded missile. So if I share, I'll move that round to that side. Um, and actually, you can see on this side as well, there's another two of these flick fire missiles. So there's a spare or an additional four, so there's five in total, um, which is very good. Um, so the spring loaded missile is actually here. So we can see there the front of it and the rear of it there. And again, hopefully you would have seen my other review videos um, and how these fire. So let's just give a firing of this now. So just simply push down on the spring loaded missile and you will see this shoot away. In fact, you probably wouldn't have seen it shoot away, but you probably heard it because they do come out very fast. Okay, there we go. That's my review of this set complete. The Republic AV7 Anti-Vehicle Cannon set 75045. Anyway guys, hope you liked this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it that thumbs up. Um, leave me any comments, feedback or questions down in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!